Hey guys, it's Ozzy at Verdigreen in Montclair, New Jersey, and I am painting my um, my wood floor in my shop in old white, and then giving it a sand to distress it, and then I'm placing my Royal Design stencil over the old white, and I'm using Annie Sloan's graphite chalk paint to um, to do a stencil over the old white. The effect that I want is kind of this like faded, tiled, distressed look. Um, it's going to be very easy to maintain because I'm going to seal it with Annie Sloan's floor lacquer, which is meant, you know, specifically for painted floors, and it's really easy to clean. And because it's distressed and patterned, it's going to hide a lot of uh, dirt. So. What I did is I taped my stencil onto my dry old white and I'm using a chip brush because it's kind of flat and sparse bristles and I dipped it into my graphite and then I'm doing what's called offloading onto a paper towel because what I want is for most of my paint to, um, to transfer to the paper towel so I have very little paint on the edge of my bristles. In this particular stencil, rather than stippling, which is this motion, kind of like a stabbing motion, which is typically how you would get a very clean uh, stencil, I'm doing a sweeping motion. And I'll show you why in a minute. Um, I'll show you what the end result is, but I just really wanted it to look weathered. So I'm doing a sweeping motion, which does mean in some places it may bleed a little bit since I'm kind of forcing my brush against the edge of the stencil. But um, since I'm distressing over it, it doesn't really matter. So here I go. I am just sweeping my brush over the stencil and it is applying a very light coat of graphite inside the um, stencil pattern. I actually need a little bit more on my brush. One of the cool things about um, stenciling with chalk paint is when you initially load your brush and then offload it, you're definitely gonna have more on your brush than after you've, um, you know, stenciled for a minute. And so in some areas, it's gonna be more faded than others. Now, if this was supposed to look new and fresh, I wouldn't allow that to happen. But because I want this to be distressed, it kind of does half of the job for me because it looks as though it's faded away in some places, which is a very cool effect. This is a rather large stencil, which makes it very easy in terms of um, the repeat on my floor. It's really easy to line up. Royal Design stencils are really good quality. Um, they're laser cut mylar. I really love working with them and I do it often. My back wall that you can see in this video is also a Royal Design stencil. It's like a trellis that I did. Um, graphite and then I used a gold gilding wax in the trellis with my finger actually. It was finger painting in a stencil and it was very easy. I've done about half. So sorry that this video is going to be somewhat longer than usual.
and now I'm done stenciling, so I'm gonna remove my tape and my stencil and show you the finished product in regards to the actual stencil. And then I am going to um, sand it once it dries to make it even more distressed. But there you have it. That's what it looks like now. It's still wet. It's going to take 5-10 minutes to dry max since it's so lightly applied. And then I'm going to sand it so then you'll see this effect here. So stay tuned. My entire shop floor will look like this soon. I hope this was helpful. Love where you live and shop local. Thanks for watching.